Hello, it's Dr. Triple Seven, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you send files between Windows, Mac, and Android on the same Wi Fi network. So, normally, if you want to transfer a file from a Windows computer to a Mac computer or an Android phone, what you want to do is either plug in the Android phone or plug in a flash drive or SD card, transfer the file to the SD card or USB, and then walk over to the other computer or Android phone, or whatever it may be, plug it in, and load the file on. Using a program called AnySend, this allows you to quickly copy and literally paste that file to the other computer or Android phone without having to plug it in at all. As long as all the devices are on the same network, same Wi-Fi network, this works perfectly. So there are some advantages to having this over standard USB transferring. First being, if you're copying a simple picture over, let's say a family photo, Copying over any send is much, much faster than it is to be on a flash drive. If a picture is only one megabyte, usually one megabyte to another computer, it's going to take about a second or two. To actually plug in a flash drive, copy the file over, then walk over to the other computer, this takes much longer. On the opposite end, a flash drive only can hold so much data. Let's say you have a four gigabyte flash drive and you want to transfer over a five gigabyte file. Well, you can't transfer it over all at once. You'd have to split the file in half, or three cores, whatever it may be, put on two flash drives, or make two, two trips. Using any send, there's no limit to what the file size is. As long as you have a fast Wi-Fi network, you can transfer that file over very easily. So in today's video, I'm going to set up any send on two different computers and an Android phone and show you how it works. So the first thing I want to do is to go to www.getanysend.com, which I'll have that link in the description below. And on the home page, we have the option to click the download button. At the bottom, we have different devices. So you can go to Windows, Mac, Android, or you can add your email. They're also currently making it for the iPad as well as the iPhone. So currently, um, click your device and click Windows or whatever yours may be. And it'll go ahead and download the file. Once it is download, downloading, you'll have two different versions. You'll have a 64-bit version and just a 32-bit version. So either open up the 64-bit or the 32-bit, depending on your system. Click install, and it will automatically download the file it needs. Then go through and install everything that is needed. Once it's done, press launch. So here we have a tutorial, so I'll go through it with you guys. So click continue. So what you want to do is just go on the picture and click copy. Now we click on the icon taskbar. And a fake person named Julia has now been added there. So what we do is just click on Julia. And with it, there we go. Now it has been sent to that person. So obviously Julia is a fake person, but that's how simple it is to use AnySend. So our last option here is we can launch AnySend on startup, which I do suggest that way it's always running, or you can have it disabled and then enable it yourself when you want to use it. So now I'm going to go ahead and install the same program on my mom's computer and show you how easy it is to drop you that file to the computer. All right, so I installed the program on my mom's computer, and now we'll send her a file. It's very simple. All you gotta do is click on a file and copy it, or Control C, which is the shortcut for copy. Click on any send and click on the PC. Within a few seconds, that computer will receive a notification from yours saying that you're trying to send them a file, and the option to approve it or say no. They also have the option to remember their yes, so that means Next time you want to send them a file, it will automatically accept it or automatically deny it. Now, once that file is received, your computer will get a file notification saying file received. On your computer, you will receive a notification saying file sent. Now, to open up the picture or whatever file the person sent, you can either click on the notification or you can go to any send and click on the folder. So click on the icon the notification or taskbar there and click on the folder just below your name and there is where the file is sent to 
You do have the option to change where to send to. You can, uh, for example, put it onto your desktop so it just appears on your desktop. Now, a cool thing about AnySend as well is it works with Android. Currently, it is being developed for iOS devices like the iPad and the iPhone, and that'll be coming up very soon. But as of right now, they only have an Android one. I'm not going to go over too much of the Android one. It's um, very straightforward. You install the app. It syncs up with the computers, like Windows and Macs, on your network, and you can basically share files with them the same way as if it's on a computer. So basically, you open the app up. It will scan your network for any compatible computers with the program installed, and you're pretty much good to go. So now I go back to the computer for some settings. So the last thing I'm going to show you guys is the options that are available for any send. So if you go to the notification bar and click on it, you'll get the option to either send a file to whatever PCs are available. You have the view receive folder, which basically means any files you have received automatically go there unless you choose otherwise. And the last option is the little options key. If you click on that, you have some different options. You can add a picture. So basically what that means is in top right hand corner here, you can see we both our computers on the network currently have a picture. It's easier to identify the person. As well as you have launch and on startup, basically means when you log in the system, will automatically turn on. Play sounds. When you receive a file, it will play a sound, or if you send a file, it will play a sound. You can disable that. Um, notifications, so you can notify when a file is received and notify when a file is sent. Under network, you can click save, receive files too. So basically on your computer, when someone sends you a file, where do you want them to go? As well as you have the option to auto open the file. So you can go don't auto open. You can also go auto open common file types, or you can go auto open select file types. So you can actually choose the file types you want to open. And then security is just some um, trusted devices that you have said yes, always send to, and you can remove them. So that's pretty much it, guys, for any send. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about any send or anything in general, please leave it below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. This is the Hacker 0 7 and I'm signing off.